So I just realized, uh, I think I actually deleted videos where I explain what the hell I'm doing here. So here we are again, take two. But what happened was when I planted this hedge out front, it kind of makes like a big box around our front yard. I originally didn't line and hold the front row up straight. So the whole point of this uh, video is to show you me straightening it out. And then I don't know if I'll be adding it to this video, but we're also going to dig out some new gardens in front of this. We're gonna do a nice pattern that's easy to mow around on both sides and pull the sphinxes forward a lot and then I'm gonna find some sort of standard tree I plant here. I also moved the Danica globe cedars closer to the corner one which is possibly an emerald but I'm not sure they seem to grow really slow for emerald. But yeah so I'm gonna have to move those two Danicas closer and I've got some fire pokers I gotta move out. That's this spring's big garden project. So here is the footage.
think I forgot to film me uh, digging out the rest of the shrubs, but I probably saved you from watching an old man almost pass out and die from a really easy job. Oh my God, that soil is heavy. Okay, so I'm definitely not finishing this today. I got two of these fire pokers and what is that? <sighs> Come on, brain. Whatever, anyway, there's the other fire poker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them in garbage bags and that will keep the moisture and I'll put them in the garage until I can plant them. Which might be tomorrow, it's just not happening today. Okay. Hollyhock, that's what they're called. Okay, bye. Time for the yearly cedar trim. Okay, so there's basically one of these Danica cedars that is smaller than the rest because we accidentally weed whacked it a few times uh, and it's over here in the corner. So this guy came back beautifully. That's the smallest one. So I'm gonna trim this one just like a wee little bit to give it a haircut. And then whatever size that turns out being, I'm going to try and do the same size for all of them. And we'll see how well this goes because some of them are like at least twice the size. But I kind of want to get them all like as close to uniform as possible because this is like our formal area, formal garden. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna trim my bushes on camera.
Well, they're a little bit shorter than I originally wanted. Cool. But uh, looking a lot better and uniform. And I just gotta clean all this crap up. I'll probably try and make cuttings from them. But everything's nice and uniform now. Pretty sweet. So now I'm just gonna try and shape up these guys next. That's probably a tomorrow job. Okay, bye. Little bit of a different vantage point. Check this out. Oh, looking so good. One day it will be a full hedge. And everything up here is doing pretty freaking good too. God, I'm definitely getting more of those this year. Okay, it's the next day. So today's plan is to trim down all those uh, emerald cedars or whatever they are. Um, but for these guys, I went a little overboard on the Danica like globes. So for these ones, uh, I just want to get them straight like pillars, whatever it takes to do that. Hello, traffic. Okay, that's about it. So I just wanted to say I got these uh, hedge clippers. Hedge clippers at Dollarama. The only thing I did was I sharpened the shit out of them. And they seem to be pretty good. Once you get going, you kind of like want to go too far. But let's go take a look. So basically just kind of straightened them up a little bit. You know, try and make them uh, like posts. Which they're looking pretty good. And then uh, it's what, early April. So they haven't started flushing out yet, which is probably good timing. So I give them a little trim before they start budding out and having new growth um, but that's that trimming the cedars bye